What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got a couple of really fun duels for you guys to check out. This first duel is going to be 100% troll. To be honest, I should have watched it and uploaded it on April Fool's Day, but I think I'm going to upload it on 420 because that's going to be just kind of funny as well. Anyways, uh, almost every card that you see at the bottom is some type of fake card. It's like a custom card. You see right here, Baneless Predictions is a card, and it has has maxi to two so i mean does this confirm maxi is going to two you can declare up to five card names if any uh if any cards with the declared name is under a player's possession you gain one life point for each wow that is actually really good you see uh mystical space typhoon this version of mst does actually negate it says target one spell slash trap on the field negate its activation so this mst does actually negate so we have this um whatever this is kind of like fake Yu-Gi-Oh deck down here at the bottom with the uh the bastion phoenix it's playing against dark magician but don't worry the dark magician player is also using some fake anime cards as well and uh looks like he just starts the duel by activating percy's hunting ground so he he just activates a card from his deck for free that seems pretty op Oh, snap. You just activate the card and you don't even need to do anything. Like, what? I'm not going to lie. Half of what's going on, I'm not even going to understand. This might be my favorite card in this duel. It's called, but you still take the damage. If you've never watched Yu-Gi-Oh! RV, you're not going to understand this meme. You, you have to really watch that anime and watch a bunch of episodes to uh, <laughs> understand the meme. But it's something that comes up a lot in this show. Anyways. His opponent's going to go for Soul Drain. He's going to MST negate that, so uh, that's just Soul Drain's not going to happen. Activates Pot of Desires. Then he activates the other Pot. That Pot allows you to just draw two cards. It's not Pot of Greed. It's just called Pot, and it just allows you to draw two cards. He's going to go for Baneless Prediction. He gains 14 life points. Not bad. Activates another Pot. Now he's going to go Terraforming for a third Pot, and then he gives his Pot to his opponent. I believe he also drew a copy of Scarf Coon. This is a really good card. This is... um. <laughs> pretty sure that that is reggie from uh Yu-Gi-Oh! arc v so um yeah he might be able to use scarf coon to get some work done activates another copy of banless predictions and now he's going to gain five life points uses scarf coon and then ends his turn his opponent He's trying to keep up the good fight. He's going to tribute for Dark Magician. Activates the copy of, um, what was that? That's Dark Magic Attack. And now he's going to activate his own pot. And he's going to summon three Ojama tokens. I mean, what this card, I don't think anyone knows what this card does. Like, I honestly, because it, I mean, it, it's supposed to let you draw two cards. But he just, like, summoned three Ojama tokens. So, what does pot even do? I don't think anybody knows. And there was one time where it, like, gave his opponent cards. Anyways, he's actually going to top deck Mammoth Graveyard. You guys remember how OP this was in the original dm anime and um i'm not exactly even sure what happens here but this card is almost going to infinitely activate and then the game's just going to end so <laughs> when it comes to the conclusion of what happened and what is actually like going to who's going to be the winner what happened to decide this game i honestly don't know all i know is that mammoth graveyard just infinitely or near infinitely triggers and then basically that's the end of this duel i don't really understand what was going on for almost any of this duel but um i don't know I, I really like the part where but you still take the damage was uh was drawn because that's one of my favorite that might be that actually might be my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh meme of all time but you still take the damage i, I just love that it, it probably was the best thing about the entire Yu-Gi-Oh rv show so yep it's still triggering don't worry it is eventually gonna stop okay at first i thought it was i, I didn't even watch this because i was like damn i guess it just doesn't stop but i can't tell you how many chain links this is because i feel like this almost broke ygo programs like programming but um just know that it's a lot of them anyways we have an actual real duel not just a troll duel this is phantom knights versus endemion Phantom Knight's uh, going second, and he is going to play right into the copy of Phantasme, which I believe is one of the top three cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Goes into Rusty Bardish, get those uh, Fog Blades, so you have some way of defending yourself against the copy of uh, the Endemion, and he's, uh, or excuse me, against the Phantasme, and Endemion's obviously a powerful place. I feel like if they get Sorcerer Supreme on field, they're almost they're almost always going to win the duel at that point, but I don't think he's actually going to be able to get it on field. He's going to go for Electromite probably. He has everything going. 
going for him. Pot of Desires, turn one. Although those were not great draws. He draws a Desires and a Phantasme. Neither one of those cards are ones that facilitate, like they don't push your game state forward. Phantasme is kind of a wait until your opponent does something card. And then Desires, you just use one. So you can't use it. Anyways, goes for Electromite. That's going to opt it or that's going to prompt his opponent to use the first Fall Blade. He's clearly going to negate it probably give up the desires because you don't want to use two desires but that means he can just use the second one so he actually shuts that down now he, his opponent is pretty much left with i believe the pendulum summon so he still should be able to get a big pendulum summon going let's see what he wants to do oh, he's pendulum summoning everything even the copy of phantasma he goes for big eye says i'm gonna take your monster and now i'm just gonna try to kill you with it he's get he gets close he's not able to kill him give him uh leaves him with a thousand life points and this is the power of pks man i'm telling you the power of pk is still the fact that like the phantom knights of break sword is so good especially if you run the rank up i mean watch what he's able to do He's able to use the Break Swords effect. His opponent is going to pop it or really negate it with the Jackal. Doesn't matter. It's coming back. And now you can make uh, you can make the Dark Rebellion Exceed Dragon. Dark Rebellion Exceed Dragon. Cut one of your opponent's monsters down. He's also able to get the Phantom Knight's Rank Up Launch. <laughs> Rest in peace. I feel like this card might end up getting banned. And he's able to go for Dark Requiem. Dark Requiem can make one of your opponent's monsters have zero attack. But he's going to bring back his Break Sword as well. Now he's able to run a couple of them over. When the Zephyr Metatron tries to activate, he can just negate that effect then he's basically right back in this duel i mean that was a really good comeback play and i believe he's also going to get a fog blade as well to defend himself his third fog blade so that was a really nice play he's going to get break sword a material and i think he's going to pop one more card so yeah he gets rid of the endemion and now all he has on his opponent's side of the field to deal with is just that copy of big eye which i believe actually might go off now nah, i think he'll probably fog blade it that would be my guess here he's going to fog blade it leaving his opponent with basically nothing all he has is that daybreaker and daybreaker is not going to be that field even if he pops the dark rebellion xc or dark requiem xc dragon excuse me this is dark rebellion he still has to deal with all these other pk cards and it's like come on man well dark dark rebellion is it's like an unofficial pk card watch watch rfb he you know yuto summons it a bunch of times in the show and it was impressive because his opponent had two dead copies of evenly matched the entire duel and he still like easily is able to counteract his opponent so i thought that that was pretty impressive anyways if you guys enjoyed these duels give the video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on the notification bell for daily videos